With Rap Game, what was the selection process like? Were you interviewed? Did you have to send them some music or was there some sort of criteria? Um, so the process is actually months. People yeah, yeah, yeah. think it's weeks, it's actually months. So you just keep getting shortlisted continuously, but they will ask you for freestyles. They already obviously looking, they're doing their already their background checks on your music and that. Yeah. So yeah, it was just like freestyles, going to meetings, and then yeah, like literally two days before you know you're on the show. So okay. it's up to you if you go or Wait, not. so wait, two, two, what do you mean by <laughs> two days before? Two, two days before the show starts? No, so because of the whole COVID stuff, it was in isolation for 15 days, I think it was. But um, they call you like two days, like I think I got a call on the Wednesday and I left on the Saturday, literally. Oh, the- raw. You didn't even have time to warm up or anything <laughs> like that. Like, nah, when yes, you, next day deliveries, literally. When you got the phone call, like, how did your family react? How did you react? What was going through your mind? Um, if I was to be honest, yeah, when they called me, yeah, I was like, can you call me back? And I just hung up. I couldn't, mad, mad, like, mad. I was in shock. I couldn't believe it. And then, yeah, I don't even think it really sunk in until I got back. Yeah. And wait, where was this again? You had to go to Manny, right? Yeah, Manchester. Okay, so and then you went there, and then you got to meet the. Did you did you know no. the contestants before or? No, so was in isolation. Um, I think we were allowed out our room for like thirty minutes a day, um, each. And yeah, like so you don't know who was in a hotel. It was all on different floors, just spread out. Okay, okay. From the way you spoke and carried yourself, I always knew like you were the guy and you had confidence, but. On the first couple of freestyles, you seem to have <laughs> slipped up your, your lyrics in, in front of Krept and Conan. Yeah. How, how, did, how did you find it when you did your freestyle? You didn't do the best, but like... Like, do you know what it is, yeah, for me, yeah? I went to rap game, yeah, with everything to win. Like, do you get yeah. it? And nothing to lose. So it's like everybody was there for the 20 bags. Like, do you get it? Money comes and money goes. And it was more than the money for me. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, when I went in front of them, yeah, I fumbled, but... Do you get it? I still got my thing out. Do you get it? So I'm cushy, like. <laughs> the, f- the first couple of freestyles, you seem to have like a, a couple confidence issues, like looking down towards the floor and stuff like that. How is, how is it dealing with that and showcasing it to the public? Do you know what it is? It's yeah. like, it's, it's one thing watching a show, but you see when you're standing in front of them is a different story. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? And when you're spitting their faces, just sometimes it is so straight. Like other people will be rapping, and like, I'll even just look at Conan and I'll be thinking, holy, mm. did you get it? Like, it's nuts. So, just think of the pressure. It must be a pressure because like, you think you're going in and they're just looking at you. Yeah. Like, bruh, <laughs> like, can you at least smile or something? <laughs> yeah, it's literally that. And then uh, until you finish, that's when you really know the feedback. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've watched a lot of shows like Big Brother, Love Island, Keeping Up With The Kardashians and them shows there. They're filmed in a similar way to Rap Game in which like, you have the situation of what's going on and then they pan it to a separate scene of where you're you're in a different room and you're talking about what's going on right now. Mm-hmm. So how how was that filmed? Was that like a couple of days after or on the day? Um, no, we'll do everything on a day. So we had something called Vox Boxes, if it's, yeah. if I'm saying it correct. And um, yeah, so like we'll get a challenge and then they'll be like, let's film a Vox Box. Like, how do you feel about this challenge? Then you write your bars and then I think it'll be like the next day if there's still time or yeah, so it'll be like the next day and then you go over your bars with them and then they say what it means to you, so yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So was there a lot of pressure when you was like speaking your opinions? Because I'm guessing there's bare different producers and cameramen yeah. and around you. And... <laughs> Definitely, there was a lot of, do you know what it is? Yeah, I think it's a kind of a thing where it's like, who is this girl? Like, why does she feel like, do you know what I mean? But yeah, yeah. this is a male um, dominated industry. So you see when it, a female speech here, yeah, she's either aggressive or, do you know what I mean? It's never, oh, she's hungry for the bag. Yeah, Do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. But okay. when it's a male, it's like, yeah, he must really want it. He came from the trenches. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear that. I hear that. I hear that. So, it's a bit mad. I'd say that my favourite challenge on a rap game was on episode five, where Chip came in on a, as a guest and then you had to write bars to this yeah. each other. And I recall Saidu and Madula especially, they woke up and they chose violence. Yeah. How, how <laughs> did it make you, did it make things a bit awkward in the, in the room after or? Do you know what it is, yeah? You see with me, yeah? I didn't have to worry, do you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> it's like, this is rap game, do you get it? Like, there's yeah, after yeah. rap game type of thing, do you know what I mean? Like, your mm-hmm. pen can be slick now, but do you know what I mean? But Yeah, that's, that's very true. Yeah, so it's kind of like, it, for some people, it was awkward. Like, a lot of things were cut out of it, so uh, there was a lot of heat. Like, people okay. were going personal. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah, it is what it is, isn't it? What would you say was your favourite challenge? Hmm... I would say the 
video shoot, you know? Yeah, I, I enjoyed <laughs> that one. But you had, you had, I forgot the other artist name that he unfortunately left. K Dizzy. K Dizzy, he left. So how was it? Like, you must have had a lot of weight put on your shoulders because you had to yeah. fill in his shoes. Um, it was crazy, you know, but it was a situation where we had to just pull through. And working with Oatsy, like, it was kind of crazy. Me and Oatsy sound is completely yeah, it clashed, different. It clashed. Do you know what I mean? And he's very quite um, arrogant, do you know what I'm saying? So it was like... As I said, being a female, it's always like, no, I think this is better. And I'm like, no, I think this is better. But in the end, we're just like, do you know what? Cool, you do your thing. I'm going to put my twist and we're just going to see if it goes together. Yeah. And one thing I noticed about you, yeah, whenever you like, had the results of mm. who's first, second <laughs> or third, whenever you was not first, you was not happy. Yeah. I guess, do you know what it is, yeah? Even if I was first, I still wouldn't be content. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I yeah. still want to know where to, like, where to be better. Do you know what I'm saying? But it's like... Man, them are getting first place and they're getting giddy with it. Like, what are you excited for, bro? Yeah, like, I hear that, do you I hear get that. it? Like, so, do you know what I mean? The same way you got that, it can get tech from you. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I hear that, I hear that. But before we move on to the final section of the interview, let's play a short game of Would You Rather so we can further understand <laughs> your relationship with your competitors. Yeah, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Before we get into this, yeah. the relationship is it then or after? Then, okay, right, no, cool. no. After, after. <laughs> how how you're feeling now? Innit? How you feeling now? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> so, one of these two call you for a friendship date. So it's a trip to the cinema, something to eat, maybe a little bit of golf. Mm -hmm. Yeah, friendship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who would you rather go on a friendship date with? K Rico or Gwen P? BP. BP. Yeah. Yep. That was your dog, innit? Yeah, that's my G still. Can't even lie. Because I remember you was upset when she yeah, left. Yeah, I'm trying to talk her out of it still. Oh, okay. Okay. You're tired from a long day in the studio and both Saidu and Medulla cook for you. Who would you rather eat from? Medulla. Medulla. <laughs> was, she, was, was she a chef in the... Nah, we couldn't even cook in there still. I'm not even going to lie. You couldn't cook? No, nah, just straight delivery. I swear. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. You're stuck on a deserted island. Who would you rather be stuck with? Crept or Conan? <laughs> You're too dangerous. You no, I'm joking. Um, Crept, Tinny was my mentor. Oh, Crep, yeah. Yeah. I see you kind of, you two kind of developed a good relationship. Yeah. Mm. Like, it's proper people. Do you guys still talk now or? Yeah, we still speak now. Okay, that's good. That's good. Welcome back. Today I'm joined by Poka. And Poka, your, your track champion P is finally out. Is that the direction that you want to go in? The more kind of dance hall kind of vibe? Um, do you know what? I'm not even trying to talk too much in it, but things are coming. Do you get it? And things are coming, yeah. Yeah, like the versatility is there. So, mm. cause you can you can shut down any genre. I've seen you do the Joe freestyle, the Kenya All Star thing. When when I saw <laughs> you do three different genres, I was thinking, is this even allowed? Like, <laughs> yeah, that was mad. Yeah, I literally just went in there and asked bad. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear that. There are many female artists out right now, so there's a lot of competition. Where do you feel like you rank, rank out of the female rappers right now? Do you think you're the top or? Don't to be honest with you, I'm gonna let my work do the speaking in it, but I ain't got no competition. Do you no get competition. Like, no one's a threat to me. Like I'm all for woman empowerment and in, like do you got know I mean pushing other females, but I'm in my own lane. Okay, that makes sense. You seem to go on Instagram live a lot, and you were just live yeah. a second ago. <laughs> Is connecting Literally. with supporters something that's important for you? Yeah, definitely. 100%. My supporters are like my family. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. So, yeah. It's them that's that's carrying me, if, if anything. Yeah, yeah, I hear that. I hear that. What's coming in the future? More singles or an EP? Mixtape? Do you know what? Yeah. It's nuts, isn't it? There might be feet, some features there. Okay, okay. You get it with couple. I've, 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 I've seen your I've seen your comments. <laughs> <laughs> couple big people in the industry commenting. I've seen it. I've seen like, it. Things are coming, man. Things are coming. Things are coming. Okay. 2022. Watch out for Poka. I'm about to play her new track. Do you want to intro it for the people? Yeah, you already know the vibe. The thing comes serious. Champion P out tonight at 7 p.m. on Mixtape Madness. Let's go.